Welcome to another lesson that is part of the TI-30XB student course. In this lesson, we will be covering getting started with the TI-30XB. To turn the calculator on, press the on key. To turn it off again, press the second key and then the on key. Note that this turns off the display, but the calculation history, settings and memory are retained. The display contrast can be adjusted to suit by pressing the second key and then the subtraction key to lighten the screen or the second and then the addition key to darken the screen. Repeat the above steps as needed. Most calculations are performed on the home screen, which can display a maximum of four lines with a maximum of 16 characters per line. Where possible, the calculator will display the entry and the answer on the same line as when we multiply 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 times 6, 7. Everything is displayed in a single line. If it's not possible, the answer will be displayed on the right of the next line, as in 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 times 6, 7, 8, 9, 0. Oh. Press clear to clear the home screen. The calculator uses the second key to access the secondary function of each key. For example, the x squared key will square the number here, 9 squared. However, if you press second x squared, it accesses the square root function and the square root of 9 is shown here as 3. The name or icon associated with the second function is displayed above each key. If the second key is pressed, the symbol second is displayed at the top of the screen. There are several other special indicators that may be displayed at the top of the home screen. For example, the current angle mode, which is set to degrees. To reset the calculator back to the calculator defaults, erase the calculation history and clear the memory, press second and then zero, which is reset as shown. Press two to confirm resetting. That's it for this lesson. Thank you.